like many people spend a long time, sometimes even years, going around in circles trying to work out what is causing their headaches. Well, I'm going to be telling you about the number one cause of headaches that I find. And this is a crucial step of my program and the thing that I find gives people the most relief when they learn actually what to do about this. So my name is Ellie Lindsay and I'm a therapist who specializes in treating headaches both in my clinic here and also with my online coaching as well. If what I say in this video sounds relevant to you, then I would love to speak to you about how these trigger points may be causing the specific headaches that you're getting. And we can go super in depth and you can tell me all about the pattern of headache that you're getting. And I can tell you how trigger points might be involved in that. Or maybe they're not. Um, I'll also tell you that as well. So I'm going to spend a bit of time going over the trigger point patterns so you can have a look at the pictures for yourself and get an idea of whether this is relevant for you or not. So we're going to be looking at a few muscles. So the first thing to really understand about trigger points is that they are there in muscles and they are like knots. So if you imagine um, sort of muscle fibers, they're supposed to come together and then they're supposed to release. So trigger points happen when those muscle fibers don't release and then all these other fibers kind of weave into it. And you end up with this nodule that sometimes you can feel, sometimes you can't, because it depends exactly where it is. And that actually doesn't usually cause pain where that area is. It's usually referred pain somewhere else. So back in the 50s, this was kind of documented by two doctors at the time, one of which was JFK's personal doctor, and we now have this map of trigger points that we can use to trace back pain and figure out where the pain's coming from. So in the next few minutes, I'm going to show you some images of typical trigger point referral patterns for people that have headaches. And then you'll be able to work out which ones might be relevant for you. So just know that before we start, trigger points are in muscles and the problem is usually felt somewhere else by the way of referred pain. That's the real key bit to understand. Okay, so let's get started with just showing you some of these images here. So this first one is the literally the most common one that I find. So this is a muscle called upper trapezius. And the typical pain pattern for this is a headache that comes up one side of the head wraps around the head and comes to its worst point in the temple area here. And sometimes that can spread to being behind the eye as well. So it becomes this one big headache, sort of temple corner of the eye. And these are always one-sided and they can feel very migraine-like. They usually last for a couple of days, maybe even three days. They're pretty intense and they're usually you know, it makes it really hard to get through the day when you have this type of headache. Um, some people also get some jaw tension coming from this place as well. I don't find that as common as people suffering with these temple uh, eye style headaches. And if you've got trigger points further down in the muscle, you can also get these types of pains. But again, not as common as this bit that really wipes you out, that temple corner of the eye. The next one we're going to look at is called the SCM. And this muscle sits in your neck area at sort of more towards the front. It's got two layers to it, as you can see here. And this causes all types of headaches. So I'll talk you through the most common. And nobody I've come across has ever had all of these styles of headaches. It's usually one or the other. So the first one is this headache that's on one side and it's around the base of the skull behind the ear area here. And that can feel quite, it's usually quite dull. And it usually when it comes on, it lasts for a while and it just really just sits in that place and doesn't move anywhere. And the next style of headache that is quite, that is probably the most common that I find from this muscle is this one that comes up and around the brow bone so it sort of wraps around one eye here 
And it also sort of can go behind the eye as well. And then it can come down into this cheek area where it can cause sort of sinus style pain and cheek pain. And again, this is always on just one side of the head. And lastly, the, the, the third headache that can come from here is this headache that goes right away, right, right the way across the forehead. So it feels like a strip, really, just going across your forehead there. So there's three types of headache coming from one muscle. It's a crazy muscle, this one. Sort of back of the head on one side, wrapping around the eye and into the sinus and cheek area or across the forehead there. Um, and the next type of headache we're going to talk about is one that comes from the base of the skull, from these muscles called the suboccipitals. And this one tends to wrap all the way around the head. I know in this image, it just looks like it's one side because of the image, but it goes all the way, carries on around the eyes and all the way around. And people often call, call this a sort of tight band around their head. And they might say, oh, it feels like a vice is squeezing their head, that kind of pain. Um, and it's not very nice. It's quite, it's quite dull, but it's also really it can make you feel quite brain foggy. Another type of headache that can come from this same place that I haven't actually got an image of, of here because it's more, um, it's not actually caused by trigger points exactly. But uh, um, these muscles also connect to the dura, which is this fascia layer that surrounds the brain. So it can be that you get a different style of headache because of these muscles creating tension through the dura and that type of headache will go more up and over the head so it'll start at the maybe the back of the neck and then go up and over the head towards the forehead and it can just end up being this totally all over style headache that can come from here so two types of headache from here one that wraps around your head and feels quite tight like a tight band or a vice is squeezing your head and another one that comes more from the back base of the skull and up and over towards the forehead, even the eyes there. And then we're just going to talk about a couple of um, muscles that are more um, on your face itself, which and, and in, in your head and your jaw, which usually are kind of secondary problems. So the problem usually comes from one of these three muscles that we've spoken about, but they can set off other issues in the head. So we'll just briefly go over the trigger points there. So this is a jaw muscle, the masseter, and that can cause these sorts of pain here, sort of pain in your teeth, pain in your cheek, um, this pain that goes up and over the head, similar to where we saw the SCM just now. Um, up and over one eye here um, and then we have this muscle called the temporalis which is up in the head area and that can cause a sort of one-sided headache that is well, radiates from the temple area and can come up and across the eyebrow quite common if you grind your teeth then you may be experiencing this type of headache so that is the um, types of headaches that are caused by trigger points in the neck and the shoulders really it's these first three the upper trapezius the SCM and this one here and then these two tend to be secondary so we, there's usually a problem with those first three and over the course of years or months these muscles start to have issues as well so really, the main thing to know is that often headaches aren't coming from just one place. There is um, often involvement of more than one muscle, especially if you've been having headaches for a year or years, then chances are there's not just one neck muscle involved. There's usually a lot of them have been set off at that point. But if we can actually identify the main type of headache that we get and then look at the the muscle that that might be coming from then at least we can start to really firefight and actually um, get some treatment in there and start to relieve these headaches so in my program I have a really in-depth trigger point therapy as part of the program where I teach you exactly how to relieve the trigger points in the muscles that I've mentioned 
If you'd like to talk about how this might be relevant for you and the headaches that you're getting, then do book in for a free consultation. I would love to just chat to you, let you know if I can help or let you know if I can't help because I often tell people that. And if you're struggling with headaches, I really think it'll just be worth 15 minutes of your time just to have a chat about this. So just book in and I would love to speak to you.